But now let's talk about how to create a matrix, for example, a 3 by 3 matrix like this one, which you can see on the right side, which all of the values are 1. So as a matter of fact, our matrix is a bunch of 1s. So in order to do so, so as you can see, first of all, we have imported NumPy as NP. Then I simply tap NP.1s and I should pass the shape of our matrix in a tuple so for example i want to pass a three by three because we want to generate a three by three matrix and now if i store the result in a variable let's say called x and if i print the x variable and if i run a code you can see now we have a three by three matrix which all of the elements are one so now as you can see by default the ones in this matrix are floats so in order to convert them to integers we can pass another argument to the ones function which is called d type means a data type means the type of data which is in our matrix and for example i want to pass for example integer in order to make them integer so if i run a code you can see now they are integers and also remember that you can pass that in other ways as well. So for example, you can pass the int itself. So if I run a code, you can see we get the same output. But now suppose that instead of a bunch of ones, we want to generate a bunch of zeros. I mean, for example, a three by three matrix, which all of the elements are zero. So in order to do so, we can simply pass another function, which is called zeros. And for example, we want a three by three matrix, which all of the elements are zeros. And for example, the data type we want to consider is integer. So now if I run the code, you can see all the values are integers and it's a three by three matrix, which all of the values are integers. And if if I remove this and if I run a code you can see that by default the data type is a float so that's it and remember that it's very obvious that you can change the shape of your matrix for example you want to uh, define a 2 by 4 matrix which all of the values are zeros and also you can do the same thing for the ones function so you can see it's a 2 by 4 matrix which all of the values are 1 now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now